Have you ever noticed, whenever it's hot, people get crankier than usual? When you're out on the street, it feels like everyone's in a survival battle against the heat. But actually, that's not just your imagination. Science has proven that high temperatures can increase our chances of getting angry by up to 20%. And there's even more surprising stuff to discover. I'll explain why your brain reacts that way to the heat, and, more importantly, how to control your emotions when the weather's not on your side. Trust me, after this video, you'll finally understand why your neighbors always seem grumpier in the summer. The Brain and Heat Why does hot weather reduce our emotional control? First, we need to understand how the brain works when the temperature rises. You know what? Our brain is extremely sensitive to temperature. When your body temperature goes up, the hypothalamus, the part that regulates temperature, gets overloaded. It has to keep your body cool and maintain other essential functions at the same time. That means less energy is available for emotional control. A study from Stanford University found that for every one degree Celsius increase in temperature, personal conflicts rise by 2.4% and group conflicts by 11.3%. Wow! That number is almost unbelievable. On top of that, heat lowers serotonin, the happiness hormone. At the same time, it boosts cortisol, the stress hormone. And there you have it, the perfect recipe for a bad day. Evolutionary Mechanism Why does heat trigger aggression? Have you ever wondered why evolution designed us this way? Sounds like a design flaw, right? Actually, it's an ancient survival mechanism. Back in the day, when our ancestors lived in harsh environments, getting more aggressive in the heat helped them protect scarce water and food resources. Our bodies also trigger a stronger fight-or-flight response when it's hot. High temperatures activate the sympathetic nervous system, raising heart rate, blood pressure, and alertness. Basically, your body thinks you're in danger. And here's something fascinating. Sweat doesn't just cool your body down, it also carries stress pheromones. When others around you smell it, they subconsciously become stressed too. So everyone around ends up spreading the bad mood together. You know it's summer when just stepping outside feels like joining a survival game. But hey, there's still a lot more to uncover about how the weather affects our minds. By the way, if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on more cool insights. Now, let's dive deeper into how the heat actually changes our behavior. Actual data. Heat and social behavior. You'll be shocked to know this statistic. In the US, the rate of violent crimes increases by 5.7% on days when the temperature exceeds 32 degrees Celsius. The FBI has tracked this data for over 30 years. But it's not just about crime. Hospital studies show that emergency cases caused by fights rise by 14% on the hottest days. Even the divorce rate tends to rise during summer. Interestingly, the heat tolerance threshold varies from person to person. People living in tropical regions have a 3 to 4 degree Celsius higher tolerance than those in temperate zones. The brain has learned to adapt. Moreover, heat affects our decision-making ability. When the temperature rises, the prefrontal cortex, the part responsible for logical thinking, works less effectively. That's why we tend to make impulsive decisions when we're both hot-headed and in hot weather. Psychologists have also discovered that even holding a cup of hot coffee can increase aggression compared to holding a cold drink. Fascinating, isn't it? Hormones and the brain. When the emotional regulator overheats. Now let's dive into the biological mechanism. When body temperature rises, a complex chain reaction occurs inside the brain. First, the amygdala, the emotional processing center, becomes more active. At the same time, the connection between the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex, 
the area responsible for rational control, weakens. In addition, high temperatures increase the levels of testosterone and adrenaline in the blood. These are the so-called fight hormones. Meanwhile, GABA, the neurotransmitter that helps us relax, decreases. An interesting study from Japan found that the Japanese have a word, natsubate, summer fatigue, to describe irritability and lack of focus on hot days. They've recognized this phenomenon for hundreds of years. What's remarkable is that the brain needs about 20 minutes to adapt to a new temperature. That's why we often feel uncomfortable right after stepping out of an air-conditioned room into the heat. Now I understand why street vendors always seem to have that don't mess with me look. Turns out, their brains are in fight mode 24-7. Family, work, traffic, when heat breaks relationships. Have you ever noticed that family arguments seem to happen more often in the summer? It's not just a coincidence. A study from the University of California found that couples argue 37% more often when the temperature rises above 30 degrees Celsius. The reason? Both people are already in an easy-to-explode state. It only takes one tiny spark for things to blow up. At work, things aren't any better. Offices without air conditioning report a 28% increase in employee conflicts during the hottest months. Productivity drops, stress rises. A perfect recipe for workplace drama. Even traffic isn't spared. Studies show that rage driving incidents spike when temperatures exceed 35 degrees Celsius. Honking, shouting, road rage, all of it actually has a scientific explanation. Another interesting finding, children are affected too. Preschool teachers report that kids cry and get crankier on hot days. Because their brains are still developing, children have a harder time regulating emotions than adults. Scientific Solutions How to Control Your Emotions in Hot Weather now comes the most important part. How can we hack the brain and manage our emotions when it's hot? Solution 1. Cool your body from the inside. Drinking cold water doesn't just quench your thirst. It can lower your brain temperature by 0.5 to 1 degree Celsius. That's enough to significantly improve emotional control. Deep breathing is also incredibly effective. When you take slow, deep breaths, the cooler air entering your lungs helps cool your blood and in turn your brain. Inhale for 4 seconds, hold for 4 seconds, exhale for 6 seconds. The golden formula. Interestingly, Soaking your feet in cold water for just 10 minutes can lower body temperature and lift your mood, as much as a 30-minute rest in an air-conditioned room. On the nutrition side, eating foods rich in magnesium, like bananas and leafy greens, helps stabilize the nervous system. Avoid caffeine and spicy foods. They'll make things worse. Finally, the cooling visualization technique, imagining yourself in a cool place, has been proven to lower body temperature by about 0.3 degrees Celsius. The brain truly is amazing, isn't it? Little known facts about heat and emotions. To wrap up, let's look at some surprising facts that most people don't know. Fact 1. Women handle high temperatures 15% better than men, emotionally speaking. That's because estrogen helps stabilize mood and emotional balance. Fact 2. People with higher BMI tend to get irritated more easily in the heat because their bodies retain more heat. This isn't body shaming. It's pure science. Fact 3. 
slow tempo music can actually reduce the feeling of heat and improve your mood. So, listening to chill music on hot days isn't just a habit, it's backed by science. Fact 4. Colors around you matter too. Blue and green tones help the brain feel cooler, while red and orange can make you feel hotter. Finally, a NASA study found that astronauts experience similar emotional effects when their cooling systems malfunction. It proves that this is a universal human challenge, not just ours here on Earth. So we've just explored the secret behind why we get irritated more easily in hot weather. To sum up, three main points. First, the brain has to work overtime to regulate body temperature. Second, stress hormones increase, reducing emotional control. And third, there are several scientific ways to improve this condition. Now I want to ask you, what do you usually do to stay calm when it's hot? Do you drink cold water or find a cool place? Share your experience in the comments below. Is there any topic about psychology and weather you'd like me to cover next? If you found this video helpful, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe so you can soon catch more fascinating knowledge videos coming your way. And especially, the next video will be about why music can heal emotions. A fascinating topic about how sound affects the brain. Stay tuned. Subscribe now to support the channel. Thank you so much.